na good morning <coughs> dear form force and welcome to today's topic of discussion and i'm pretty sure that you are all fine and doing great despite the challenge that we are that is here with us and before we went home we had tried our level best uh, to bring our revision papers to a good number as we prepare for the coming examination today i welcome you to move with me in this lesson and try as much as possible to understand the concept of the writing skills and the topic of discussion today we want to look at advertisements i know very well that advertisements forms a huge part of contribution when it comes to the development of the writing skills in the english language now it's a topic of discussion that forms part of our day to day experiences and the questions we need to answer here are simple wh questions i want to call these questions leading questions for us to understand this particular topic and the first wh question we want to ask ourselves is what is an advertisement we have to ask ourselves this particular question of what an advertisement is and the moment we start answering that given question we shall be developing the meaning of the word advertisement in as far as the english language is concerned question 2 is what are the types of advertisements this is another very important question because we need to understand now that we know the meaning of what an advertisement is do we have different types of advertisements in english again we shall be answering that given question question 3 what is the importance of advertisement another very important question again that now that we know the meaning of an advertisement now that we are here trying to understand the types of advertisements the question is of what importance is advertisements to us and lastly we ask ourselves a question how do we create an advertisement because at the end of the day we shall go through the topic we shall learn what an advertisement is we shall look at the types of advertisements and then of what importance is an advertisement to us but having said that we need to know how do we create this an advertisement you will be reading a book and once you are reading that given book you have to understand when you get across a given item you should be able to tell whether that item is an advertisement or not and that is the reason why we are asking ourselves that given question that how do we create an advertisement now these questions will form a platform of our discussion in this given topic and so i welcome you to move with me as we begin answering right from the first question what is an advertisement now this is something that is shown to the public to help promote a product a service or an event now when you talk about something that is shown to the public is something that everybody is able to see and when these given people are seeing that given thing you are helping to pro- to promote it or you are helping to promote that given product or you are helping to promote that given service or an event for example teaching is also a kind of service now once you want to advertise teaching as a service you have to ensure that this given service is being shown to everybody maybe through online services and people are able to find out for example in our school people should be able to find out how is the teaching and learning process taking place in a mano boarding and day secondary school so once everybody is able to access and see how teaching is done and in a good way and people like it that is what we call an advertisement now examples of products can be food cloth and furniture those are products that you can advertise examples of services as i have said can be also teaching cleaning fixing plumbing and also schooling now examples of an event that you can advertise is a football match or a lecture 
once you know very well that there is a match that is supposed to be played tomorrow you go to the media you go to the newspapers and then you advertise you make the public you make people aware that hey tomorrow we shall be having a football a football match so everybody is prepared for the event that is another example of an advertisement now having said that let us look at question two what are the types of advertisements in response to this question we shall try to mention a few types of advertisements that are familiar with us now these are things that we see in our day-to-day -day lives for example we have newspapers we have magazines advertisements radio advertisements online advertisements posters leaflets and even phone advertisements i know for those of you who have phones at some point you are online trying to do your own things online and then you see an advertisement popping up that is what we call a phone advertisement you are listening to your radios at home and then you hear people advertising a given product so all those are the types of advertisements that we are talking about now i draw your attention to question 3 what is the importance of advertisement this is very important to us and we have to know that there are two major importance of advertisements and one of the importance of advertisement is to give people information about a product a service or an event so once people have information they are able to go for that product they are able to go for that service and even if it's an event people are able to attend that given event so it is giving people information about that now the second aspect is to get more people to buy a product or pay for the service or an event now how does this one come in to be important it's important because once the market is set you have to know that there are so many competitors so you have to advertise your product and the moment you advertise this given product many people get to know about your product many people get to know about your event and then from there you get to understand or get to learn that people are really liking your product and then at that given aspect you get that your product will now sell question 4 how can you create an advertisement now the following are the ways through which you can create an an advertisement number 1 When you are trying to create an advertisement you have to know your audience. This is very important. Without knowing your audience then you are not able to advertise anything. You are not able to create a complete advertisement that is sound to everybody. Now here you need to understand what your audience wants and their specific age. What does this one mean? That you cannot take an advertisement that is meant for adults and then you advertise for children look at their age children between the age of 3 4 5 up to 10 have a given type of advertisement that they can like seeing so you have to know is my audience children or is my audience an adult person and at the same same time you cannot advertise what is meant for the male gender you advertise it for the female gender you have to be very specific get to understand who my audience is the next aspect is describe what you are offering now describe what the product service or the event is and ask yourself this question is there any unique or is there anything unique about your product that makes it different from from others you have to answer that given question confidently and your answer should always be yes because you are advertising to sell your product you are advertising to sell your service so there should be something unique about your product that makes it different from other other users mention that thing if you are selling products cheaper than other companies mention the prices or say your product is is cheap for example if you have a given product that is selling for 200 dollars everywhere in all the shops come up and tell people mine i'm selling it at 150 dollars you find that there is a 50 dollar discount that has been given and then mention something unique about yours that will make people now 
move away from $200 and come for yours that is $150. And then be creative. And this one becomes our last point. Remember you are competing against other people or companies. And a unique message can help you stand out from your, from your competition. For example, we have shoes companies. Companies are producing so many types of leather shoes. So once you know that you are competing against those given companies, make sure that your advertisement stands out. Tell these people, give them that unique message. What makes your leather shoes different? Or what makes them stand out as compared to other normal companies that sell those leather leather shoes now as we summarize our lesson today we need to look at an example of an advertisement to make us understand the concepts basically having been covered in this given lesson now when you check on your screen now you see this one here is an example of an advertisement i want to read through and then we try to get a gist of what it means Advertisement reads, Herias Coffee. Not feeling so good this morning? That's a question. Bring Herias Coffee to feel like a president. Now, when you look at such an advertisement, this is an advertisement that is meant for young children. Why am I saying this? When you look at the wording, young children will always be ambitious in life. Young children will always want to emulate people who are famous, people who are heroes, people who are popular in the, in the society. A president of a given republic is a famous person, is somebody who stands out in that given nation. So when children read about Herias Coffee and then like it that presidents drink Herias Coffee in the morning, you find that most children will be disturbing their parents every morning or every evening. They want to drink what? Herias? Coffee. Once a child is not feeling good any morning, they are there. Mommy, I want to drink Herias what? Coffee. So that I feel like the president. The parent cannot even say no because the child has already seen the advertisement. And they will keep nagging their parents and telling them even presidents drink Herias what? Herias coffee. So that makes that given advertisement to be a good type of what? Advertisement. Now having said that, I will leave you with some classwork here. And this classwork is, I want you to think about a tasty drink that you know, and then you design an advertisement to encourage people to buy that given product. Go out, take your mind out, think about a tasty drink. There are so many drinks that you have ever drunk, either in Somaliland, out of this republic, those that people like. And then, Looking at the examples that I've just explained to you, design an advertisement so that people are able to buy that given product. Bring people on board. Let them like what you are, what you are giving. So I want you to do the above classwork in your exercise books. And then all these books will be collected when we resume our normal face-to-face -face class. And after doing that, I will check those given books and then we shall get to revise together to see exactly what we have talked about and if you have any comments if you have any feedback you are free to leave it here you type it here and then i'll be responding to each one of them as time goes by otherwise i want to wish you a nice time continue staying safe and success and good luck as you prepare for your coming exams so the presenter has been your english teacher crispin msire thank you very much